I'm gonna show you guys how you can make money as an artist in 2022 the easy way. So let's get started. I'm gonna cut right to the cheese and I'm about to show you a successful example. There you have it. If you guys connect to aafnation.com, which stands for American AF Nation, you will see a great example of a successful community of artists who are making a lot of money off of their talent. And in the following minutes, I'm about to break it down. I'm about to show you exactly what they are doing so we can reverse engineer the process and hopefully replicate their results as well. Let's try to understand what's going on here. So as you can see, this is an online store. That is pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? But one thing that will stand out is that they have a bunch of different designs. Some of them are just using popular memes. Other ones just have very cool messages, but most of them are centered around relevant topics for Americans. That is the whole premise of this online store. Hence the name. Not only that, but they have all of these different designs for various purposes. They have menswear, women's wear, clothes for children, and we have kids and toddlers. We also have holiday specific models and even gear that you can purchase. In other words, they are just taking full advantage of this business model. And if I were to take a guess, I would say they are probably doing printing on demand. Here's how that works. If you guys connect to printful.com for a second, things will become crystal clear. This is where you can create and sell custom products online, just like these t-shirts and sweaters and whatnot. But let me be a little bit more specific with that. If you connect to printful.com and you sign up for a free account, which I'm not gonna bore you with, you can then upload a digital design onto the website and these guys will literally create your merch for free without any upfront investment. In other words, you can build your own print on demand business online without too much effort. The best part about this whole method and the whole business model is that there is no risk of leftover inventory. And just in case you're wondering how much money is actually on the table, how much do you stand to earn? Well, over 1.3 billion euro worth of merch has been sold by customers through Printful so far. So it goes without saying there's a lot of money on the table. You just gotta be smart about it and grab your piece of the pie. And that's exactly what I'm gonna help you with. Now, just to make sure we understand the differences between a traditional online store and a print-on-demand business, Let's take a look at this presentation right here. Let's just pick an established brand such as Nike, for instance. It's a billion dollar brand. They are selling millions of products. And here's the advantage of that. They can go ahead and create a whole new collection. They can print out all of these t-shirts and they can know with almost 100% certainty that they will sell most of their merch. Most of these products will be sold, right? So they are just going to keep them in some sort of story space and ship them over to their customers whenever they order the t-shirts. In comparison, if I wanted to do the same exact thing, let's say that I wanted to launch my own merch and I would do my best in order to promote it, I cannot print hundreds of items up front without taking a major risk risk because if you guys do not like those t-shirts and you don't want to purchase them then i'm gonna end up with leftover inventory that nobody wants so i've just spent thousands of dollars printing out some t-shirts that nobody wants to purchase that is the major risk of starting your own clothing brand the traditional way basically modeling nike and in my opinion this is just a huge mistake because there's a far better option and that is printing on demand which is what american af uses there is no need for any storage, and I'm gonna explain why in just a second. And also the delivery is taken care of by all of these websites, such as printful.com. So here's what you get to do. You can set up your own e-commerce store using Shopify or any other tool that allows you to create a website, and then you can list all of these designs. The major advantage here is that you don't actually need to have these t-shirts in an inventory. Whenever a customer places an order, that order will be automatically sent to printful.com, which is acting as your supplier, and they will make sure that the design gets printed onto that t-shirt and delivered to your customer. So they will literally take care of all of the hard work and you just get to enjoy the profits. That's why printing on demand is one of the best business model in 2022. It's one of the most beginner friendly ones and it's a perfect match for an artist. Now, this is not my first video on printing on demand businesses. We actually have a few other videos on the channel explaining the same exact concept. And each and every single time, I was pointing out a few different things. First off, you need to have a design that people genuinely want to purchase. If your design sucks, nobody wants to buy it, right? You wouldn't spend money on a crappy t-shirt. But if you're an artist and you're looking for a side hustle opportunity to make money, you probably already have the skill. So you're able to create a high quality design that people want to buy. So we can already tick that box, right? Apart from that, you also have to target a very specific audience. This is something else that I used to emphasize in each and every single one of my videos. And that's what American AF is doing. As the name of the website might suggest, and as you can see with their whole brand, 
they are focusing on a very specific target, and those are Americans. And just by using famous figures on their designs, they are making sure to appeal to that target audience. They are just using footage of presidents in some epic scenes, they are using popular memes, and funny messages that certain audiences can relate with. And if you put all those things together, that's how you get a successful clothing brand that probably makes millions of dollars. According to this website, they make about $5 million in revenue. Now, you gotta make sure that not all of that is profit. If they are a printing on demand business, they probably have to pay their supplier as well. From my experience, creating a basic t-shirt on websites such as Printful will cost you about $11. That is the cost of manufacturing the product, right? So you can sell that t-shirt for 20 bucks or 30 bucks and keep a pretty solid profit margin. But it all boils down to the strategy you wanna use. You may want to price down your t-shirts or designs to make them a little bit more competitive. You may want to position yourself on the high end by selling more pricey stuff. That's entirely up to you. I'm not going to get in detail about that because there are a lot of tutorials out there that will really explain exactly what you need to do to make sure that your business is profitable. But if you're an artist who's looking to make money online without putting in too much effort, I would highly recommend that you take a look at printing on demand and you seriously consider this business model. It's a perfect match for your skill, which is coming up with unique designs and making sure they are high quality. You're probably a very creative person too, and you don't need to spend tens of thousands of dollars setting up your store. The offer and investment here is very little. We're talking about a Shopify subscription in order to build your e-commerce store and perhaps running some ads in order to drive traffic to your online store as well. Because people will not just magically land on your page, you need to drive them to your website. You can also do some influencer marketing, paid ads such as Facebook ads or TikTok ads. Again, you've got plenty of options. But let's say that for some reason, you don't want to go through the trouble of setting up your own online store because it takes some time. I personally think it's easy and it is worth the trouble. But if you want to keep things even more simple, what you want to do is connect to operate.com and here's what you do next. You can actually create designs for someone else, thus monetizing your skill without having to go through the trouble of building your own business. What you can do is create t-shirt designs for other sellers. And to be honest, this is not a bad idea. I mean, this freelancer from Argentina here has generated over $50,000 as a graphic designer. And here's another user from Indonesia who's made over 3K, another user from Bulgaria making over $10,000, and I could keep on scrolling here for ages. The main difficulty of working as a freelancer, as I'm sure you may know, is standing out from the crowd and competing against all of these other users. I mean, you've got freelancers with years of experience here, with impressive portfolios and great reviews. They're basically competing against you for the same jobs, right? So it's not a piece of cake. Now, truth be told, you don't have to keep all your eggs in the same basket. If you want to get more exposure and work as a freelancer, you want to connect to all of these websites, not just Upwork. You want to connect to Fiverr and then Freelancer.com, Truelancer.com, People Per Hour, and I'm sure there are a bunch of other freelancing websites that you can take full advantage of. And there's something else here that most people overlook. Let's just say that you're a client, not the seller, but a client who's looking to hire a freelancer. Let's say that you need a graphic designer. What are the first things you're going to look at? Most people here probably have the skill, so it's not a question of who's better at drawing. It is a question of who's more credible, who's more trustworthy, who's more likely to deliver a high quality result in a very short amount of time. That's what it all boils down to. So what you want to do as a freelancer is build up your credibility. You can either do that by collecting positive reviews, having a lot of five-star reviews on your profile, which is going to help tremendously, building a portfolio of testimonials and previous work that you can showcase, or building your social media presence. Perhaps building a YouTube channel, an Instagram page, a TikTok page, where you're just documenting your journey and showcasing your work. That's a really fun way of getting in front of more people and also building credibility at the same time working as a freelancer. What is for sure is that the money is on the table. People are making multiple six figures even working as freelancers, but I would highly suggest that you take my advice and start your own clothing brand by implementing the printing on demand business because the opportunity is just too good. You've got all the resources you need to make it work. So that's it for now and thanks for watching.